Hey everybody, Dieter Kurtenbach here at Oracle Arena. Uh, this is not something we say very often, but the Warriors got absolutely smoked tonight by the Milwaukee Bucks. Arguably the worst home loss in the Steve Kerr era. 134-111, the final score. Uh, wasn't even that close. That was with an entire fourth quarter of garbage time. Bucks led this one by as much as 29 points. Three things from this one, and pretty much all of them are the same thing. Bucks much, much better than the Golden State Warriors on Thursday night. First thing, uh, the Bucks were getting anything they wanted on the offensive end tonight. Uh, 84 points in the paint, which is an absurd number. It is inarguably the largest number that the Warriors have allowed since Steve Kerr took over. And with Draymond Green out, obviously that was going to have an effect, but that's not all Draymond Green. That is bad team defense, that is bad help side defense. It was a mess. Uh, the Bucks needed to do one head fake and a dribble to get to the rack. 84 points in the paint, just an absurd number. And then the Bucks' length and depth. This is one of the deepest teams in the NBA in terms of roster management, and this is one of the longest teams in the NBA in terms of just straight wingspan. Steve Kerr said going into the game that the Warriors had to be careful to not try to overpass and not try to go over the top with passes against this Bucks defense, and yet that's what they did time and time again. And Milwaukee, I don't even know the amount of times they had three on one, four on two fast breaks going the other way. They are as deadly as any team in the NBA, perhaps more deadly than even the Warriors, when that is the situation rolling downhill. Second thing. Giannis Antetokounmpo was the best player on the floor tonight. And that is not a small thing when you consider that Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry are two of the greatest players in NBA history. When you take into account that Klay Thompson can go off for 50 on any given night. Uh, Giannis made his MVP case. It wasn't even his best game. He didn't even dominate the way that Giannis typically dominates. But he was so excellent in every facet of the game. It was impossible to take your eyes off of him. Uh, listen, I've always said that Milwaukee's a wonderful city to visit in June. The Warriors might be thinking the same thing here, too. Giannis was just a question that they had no answer to. They will get another shot in the regular season next month, but um, they might get a seven-game shot at him come June. Third thing, Stephen Curry, thigh injury, third quarter. He will get an MRI on Friday. Doesn't look too serious, but at the same time, little injuries, stuff that can keep you out for a couple games, a couple weeks, a month, who knows. Uh, we'll see with the MRI. Curry seemed in good spirits after the game. Clearly didn't play the rest of the contest because the contest was already over in the middle of the third quarter when he left the game. But, um, you know, something to keep an eye on. That and Draymond Green's injury, they're, they're starting to pile up for the Warriors right now. No issue. They're still the number one team in the Western Conference. They're still nothing is messed up here by the fact that they lost to the Bucks. Though uh, Steve Kerr is going to have a much easier time motivating his team, I imagine, after they got their butts kicked by a worthy adversary, and that's something we had not seen the Warriors go up against so far this season. The Warriors will get a chance to redeem themselves to whatever extent they can on Saturday against the Brooklyn Nets, who I feel extremely sorry for right now. We will talk to you after that game.